Hey, hey, what's up, guys? I did a porch pickup on a marketplace. It was a guy that had just a box of random cards for for 15 bucks, and it wasn't just this, but it was uh, I, the, I, naturally the 18 prism caught my eye, so I was worth the 20 bucks. And there was a handful of stuff in there, but this one was uh, pretty nasty. But I thought it'd make a good demo, so check it out, you guys. Like my most common questions I had this past week were just to do a couple more examples of using the corner tool, the spray, the polish, what order to do them in. So I think uh, this will be a good one. So let me just do this, you guys. I want to show you this under a black light. I use a black light often to assess a card and see what's all on it. This one's pretty darn obvious. There's like stuff, a, a bunch of stuff on it. But let me give you an example. So I can see there's a lot of oil, a lot of fingerprints. If we're looking right in here. I don't see any scratches. But I don't know what's under this. I don't know what that is, you guys. It's showing up weird under a black light so it's probably food or i'm gonna assume that's what it is but so we'll go back to the regular light and first thing i noticed on this card you guys is obviously the crap all over the front but it also has a split corner Let's see if i can get it for you on prism cards and cards of the like they're almost like a sandwich there's a nice you know plasticky layer on top there's cardboard in the middle and then there's the the bottom part of the sandwich as you guys can see if i can get this to focus there is a split right there so not a gym meant corner so in a card that needs a lot of work you guys always start with the corners and i'm gonna put a penny sleeve over the top and thank you guys again for tuning in. I'm going to go as fast as I can to honor your time and your attention. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. And I make natural sprays, polishes, and a, a little handy-dandy <clears throat> corner tool I use. Guys, I use this. There's no one way to use a corner tool. It's just naturally we're going to show you a few examples here. But you can hold it like a pencil. You can hold it like a rolling pen. You can use the soft plastic part. You can even use the hard part if you need to press something down. But... In this case, you guys, the corner is peeling up. So what I'm going to do is this metally layer on prism cards can usually be pushed back down pretty easy. And this corner is not dented. It's just split. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll it gently first. Remember, you can always come back to it if it's not down. But you don't want to push too hard ever and cause any surface issues. Working on cards like this and the surface and corners does take technique, you guys. So if you have some cards in your collection you want to work on, work on some other cards first and get a feel for it. And if you guys are customers of mine, you guys know I'm happy to talk and do a Zoom or a phone call or messages, whatever. But um, I'm always going to help you get the best out of your cards. So I'm just going in one corner motion. I'm just dragging towards that corner to see if I can get it to lay back down. And it didn't need a lot, you guys, but just that little bit of pressure brings that corner back in. You can, I can still see a tiny little gap. I'm going to flip the card over. And we're going to just, and I'm just rolling, just a little soft roll. It's only in the corner, and I just want it to come back together. That's how you do it. Okay. So just use a penny sleeve to give yourself a little bit of extra protection. Go down the line of the card. I'm going to go down this line of it too. And just put a little tiny bit of pressure on that corner. Tiny bit. And the penny sleeve is going to protect the surface. So this card needs a lot of work, but that corner is closed back up. So now let's address the most common issue or the most obvious issue, this. Now, if you guys have a card with just like fingerprints and stuff on it, a lot of times simply a microfiber can just be your go-to. But if there is a lot of oil on the surface, using a microfiber is just going to kind of smear it around and, you know, it's, it's just not going to remove it. So first off, you guys, we're going to start with this and... I would be very, 
I will never rub a microfiber on this. Can you hear this? I don't know what it is, but it needs to be safely removed. And finding stuff like this, 90s cards, some of like my favorite stuff is, you know, 94 to 97, cool SPs, Jordan stuff, you know, all the guys from that era. Basketball's like was, was and still is one of my favorite things to collect and watch. So what we're going to do right here, you guys, is we're going to go <clears throat> to this corner. Now, you guys, I can use, you can use a cotton square. I just got a, um, a whole new slab of uh, microfiber. So you can use cotton squares like I use in my other videos, or you can use a microfiber. Since I have a microfiber handy, that's what we're going to use. I'm just going to do a quick spray on the microfiber. We're going to put the paint sleeve back on. And here's what I can do, you guys. Like, I don't know what this is, and I don't know how long it's been on there. So when I remove it, there might be a stain underneath. But we're going to find out. And if I can't remove it, I'm not going to just... Yeah, see, guys, that's one wipe down. I'm just going to go in one direction gently. Check that out. Whatever the heck it is. It's like reddish. It's coming up. But there's times where I've cleaned stains off the surface of cards, like old ones. And I think this through the years of it sitting on there, it like baked in through the layer. Okay, doing all right. So there's still crap on there, you guys. I'm going to get a new section of the microfiber. <clears throat> I'm going to hit it with like one more touch of spray. And this, whatever seems to be on here, looks like it comes off. It is coming off, but it's also kind of smearing down and it's making the surface of the card dull. So like there's not that chunk on there that cleaned up really nice. I hope you guys can see it. Well, it's kind of unique, um, doing demos cause I got to look through my phone to make it work, but hopefully you guys, these are cool to watch and appreciate your feedback. Well, I'm impressed with that. Whatever the heck that was on Carmelo peeled up, but let me show you something, you guys. I wiped off the bottom of the card, but see how, see that line? See how dirty this thing is above it? Um, so we got the corner back in place. Good there. Um, the edges of this card are, are fine. Prism usually makes pretty nice edges. But let's look at the back too, because that counts for a lot of the surface. It is, it's just dirty. There's a lot of prints on it. So hang tight with me, guys. We're just going to use the spray. I guess rarely, I, I don't think you're ever going to need to put any of my polish, which I'll show you here in a minute. You're not going to need to use any of the polish on the backs of cards. Typically, it's really good for the front of the card, um, the holographic finishes and such. It brings a nice shine to them. So unless there's like a holographic backside of the card, you can stick to the polish or if it's not heavy, just use a microfiber. You don't need to put any spray or polish on the back of a card. You can just use a microfiber. I'm using this because this is super handled and I don't want oily smears all over the back of a card. It's that simple. You guys, That's how it cleans up really quick. The spray that I make is super clean. There's no abrasives or toxins in it or any stuff that is going to leave a smell or a film and it dries quickly. So Carmelo's looking good on the back. So what I want to do on the front, you guys, is prisms are beautiful cards and especially when you can restore the shine on them. And I know this one, guys, isn't like a super high value card or anything, but I always liked Carmelo Anthony. And since I own a card care business. Uh, I thought this would make a good example. So I'm going to use next, you guys, a different cloth. And I'm going to use a little bit of my polishing, uh, just a little bit of my polish on the card surface. I'm using two microfibers here, you guys. I'm going to do an application one, and then I'm going to do a removal one. I never want to put anything that we're removing off the card back onto it. So I am, this is my polish, you guys. Uh, I'm if this is your first video of mine you're watching, feel free to watch them. Guys, I keep them on YouTube. I put them on Instagram and Facebook as well. 
but I'm just gonna use a little touch of polish here. And I'm also gonna advise to be super duper gentle. You don't need to press hard on anything like this. My products, you guys, are made to lift anything that's like oily or crunchy or whatever that's on the surface of a card off of it. Um, I wanna be real clear, you guys, I'm not trying to like trick a grading company or like pack like scratches full of like car wax or something. I'm just trying to offer you guys something, a clean, safe alternative to bringing your cards back to life. And um, this stuff does the trick really well. It's not gonna turn a, a five into a 10, you guys. But, um, well, I guess, you know, based on if you would have sent this card into, I don't think you'd send this card into get grading, but if you did with that surface on it, it's just not even, there's no point. I mean, it was just trashed. So what I want to do, guys, I'm going to keep the bottom covered up just so you can see the, the difference because prism shines up really, really nice. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm getting my other towel here, an application and a removal. I'm just going to go up. I, I went on with little circles, but I'm going to remove going up. I'm going to fold the towel because I don't want to rub the polish that I'm removing back onto it somewhere else. And you don't, you guys, these products are made to be put on, let them do their thing for a quick sec and then pull them right up because we don't want to leave them on there. They're not designed to be left on. They're designed to be put on and taken off almost like, almost like some soap and water for, for your modern day cards. And it's satisfying to watch a prism clean up. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are card nerds like me, you'll appreciate it. But like, so check this out. Here's where we're at so far. We polished the top. Look at the difference. There's the, where the fingerprints and stuff were below it. So now we're just going to go at it the same way. Let's do the top, which is the bottom in this case. And off camera, guys, I'm just getting my other changing around towels here real quick. <clears throat> Little soft baby circles. This is where the card was heavily affected, right over there. With the card side up was the left of Carmelo's name. And I can still see a little bit of like residual stuff from that crunch, whatever the heck it was we peeled up. But a hey, marketplace is cool for finding cards for demos. I'm always looking for the big ones, but uh, I like showing you guys the stuff, and I think it helps. The more you can see it, the more you can, you know, emulate what I'm doing to bring your cards back to life. This is a good example, guys. I'm glad I could show it to you. As soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, we'll, we'll make something good out of this one, even though it's trashed. So I'm um, now, you guys. Got it to, and let me just show you, because I, that whole corner there, it was curled up, no longer curled up, and it had literally like chunks of something on it. It looks great. So final step, very important. And guys, I always, I'm sure you have microfibers at home, but anybody that buys a kit, you guys, I always put the, the corner tool in it and a handful of this starter stuff. I put like a microfiber in there and a couple polishing pads and stuff and just things that I like to use. So now with my microfiber guys, I'm just gonna gently just do some baby circles. I know that you can probably see it pretty good through the phone, but obviously it's not like being here in person under the, the card light. But appreciate you guys joining me and taking a look. So check it out. I think I was able to get this one done pretty quickly. And it looks really good, you guys. So too bad it's not the Luca from this set, but uh, that's why it's worth taking the risk and trying to find stuff like that. But there is a little bit, like a little bit of a dent, you guys, by my thumb. Again, this was not my card. I did not pull this out of a pack. It was just beat up, and I thought it would make a good demo. But it really shines nice, you guys. I brought that natural prism look back. Got the corner fixed. The back's looking good. And you guys, um, the black light doesn't lie. I'm going to finish it, you guys, with the black light, just so you guys can see that 
there is nothing that I'm leaving on the surface of these cards. I just want to clean them up. And you guys, hey, I uh, was talking to one of my buddies, Eddie, today. I, uh, big collector down in Florida. And uh, we, we were talking. And um, something that he wanted to make sure it was clear was just a safety reminder to everybody. If you guys have stamps on the front of cards that are like numbering it, if it's a, of a certain print run, or if um, there's a foil stamp, like in his case it was like a contenders, anything that's stamped on the top of a card is super sensitive. Don't microfiber or anything like that. Don't put any sprays or polish on it. Um, it's just it's just a risk not worth taking, you know? So uh, Eddie, thanks for the feedback, brother. And I'm glad that cleaning is going well for you. And let me just, do this you guys so take a look if there was a remnants on here it sticks out like crazy under a black light that's where the major problem was and there's nothing there it's fun i tell you guys it sucks you in you got a pile of old refractors or stuff that you're just trying to do some final touches on or some prep on it's fun to clean cards and uh especially when there's a safe alternative to doing it so Again, guys, I thank you so much. That's me. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry, guys, it's been about a week or so plus since my last video. It's just been busy, and uh, I will I will continue to put out more content, more demos. And you guys, thanks for all the love and support. And if there's any questions you have, hit me up anytime. I wish you guys a good night. Talk to you soon. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.